What in the world was Moshe thinking? Why did he break the luchis? The Eden don't deserve it. They did a terrible aver of the Egel Azav. Fine, hold on to the luchis. Go back and return it to Hashem. If someone doesn't deserve something, you take it and smash it and you break it. What was the logic here? Was Moshe doing this out of anger? See, Rashi tells us that the luchis was like the marriage contract between Hashem and the Yidin. And when Moshe broke the luchis, what Moshe was doing is he was, so to speak, ripping up the marriage contract between Hashem and the Yidin. So to speak, saying that the unfaithfulness and the avodizar that the Yidin did is not so bad because the Yidin weren't married anymore to Hashem. So Moshe breaking the luchis was not out of anger. It was a conscious, purposeful action that Moshe did to protect and save the Yidin. To protect and save who? A few Jewish people who sinned and went against Hashem. Because a true leader is someone who cares for every single type of Yid and will ask for forgiveness and will give up his own the luchis that he just got from Hashem just to protect and save another Yid. And that's why at the end of the Torah and Pashas of Azay Sabracha, when the Torah is highlighting all the events of Moshe and his life and what he accomplished, the last words the Torah tells us is Le'enei Kol Yisrael. Says Rashi, what did Moshe do Le'enei Kol Yisrael? He broke the Luchos. That's a highlight? He broke the Luchos? The answer is yes. Not only is it the highlight, it's the highlight of highlights. That's the finale. Moshe breaking the Luchos highlights and shows us what a true manik is. What a true leader is. Someone who cares for every single Yid, even Moshe Yisrael. May we emulate Moshe to do whatever we can and whatever it takes to help and love another Yid. Have a good chance.